Right, here's like a partially a disassembly of this phone. It is called an Xperia XA1 from Sony. This is the ribbon cable for the volume button and the power button and the shutter button with the Wi Fi and the power. So, this one's for a display, and I have to be careful about it. So, do everything. So, I'm, I'm just going to take the camera off. Uh, that's going to be dangerous. Yeah, and this is the camera of the Xperia XA1. It is massive. What a big chunk of a camera from 2017 mobile phone. That light is really annoying, but let's continue with this. A front-facing camera. Looks like a rear-facing camera in normal generic phones. Still huge, though. Sony's very good at making cameras, by the way. Now this, I think that's a headphone jack. Yeah, sorry about the focus. Yeah, and it has notification LED. Fuck, yeah. Notification LED and charging and indication. I have a jack, it's removable. Just here. And before I've uh, plugged this out, I had to do something. Take it out, for example, take it out Bluetooth and GPS. This was hard to take out. Like it did some prying off. I've actually kind of bent this. So you could see it here, like somewhere here, yeah. And some of the screws. And reason I'm fixing this because the pins in here are effed up, and that's because the original owner of the phone was about to plug out the cable uh, of the battery, and look, this is effed up too. Yeah, and the pins were originally look like this on the motherboards, and this on the battery. If I could focus without damaging the battery, yeah, it will look like this. And look at this. Compare that to yourself. Oh god, this focus. Uh, yeah, you could kind of see. That the pins are exposed, and here, no, it's just this had sorted out and got stuck on the battery pins, which is such a bummer because you need to solder a new thingy, which is hard work. It's literally hard work. I have never did micro soldering before, and it's really hard, according to YouTubers. By the way, the working uh, battery pin of the thing is the tablet called Lenovo Tab 37. The best tablet of the year, 20... 2016. This is how the tablet looks like. Screen is a replacement. Anyway, back to that. I need to pry this motherboard off. If I could get my tablet back. And let let me try to pry this off. So there's there's a clip here. Let's bend that. Looks like it's not touching the motherboards. And any more clips? I've never repaired this yet. Well, there's one there which looks solid. We try to bend this. So. Oh. Oh. Uh, Oh no, I have to break this. Ah, damn it. Wait, can I pry it off? Let me pry it off. Now, yeah, over here. Oh. I don't have any tools left. By the way, I've disconnected this before the video. Okay. Let's pry it off. Ah, oh, these. These this remove these this to detach from the motherboard. God damn it! Because 
I have to try to solder it on the frame, which is a bummer. With this, and if I touch the soldering iron on this, you know there's consequences on this thing. Right. So I'm just going to put everything back and plan this for another day. So I put the headphone jack with LED indication back. Put the front facing camera there that looks like a main camera in generic phones. But this is a Sony. A gigantic camera for 2017 phone. Plug it in here. Wait. To avoid getting it broken. Yeah. Get that light in. Yep. Yeah. Putting these pins back. I'm just gonna short circuit. I'm just gonna do short circuitry here. So the pins here is plus. The middle ones are ground, and this one's minus. If I could see the battery layout, well, the focus is terrible. By the way, sorry about that. Budget filmmaking. Uh, you could kind of see, yeah that you could see that's minus that's plus and that's ground. Well, they called it neutral. So flip that. That's minus there, ground and plus. So I hope you all got that. So it does not connect as I said before. Battery pins are effed up. Get that. Bluetooth and GPS antenna. Well, it's easy to put it back though. And I need to put the screws back. Which is really easy to do since it's just screwing in and out. I recommend you get iFixit toolkits, but I don't have it. But I, I, I don't have it. I have a fake version of it, by the way, from Lidl. Sorry about that. But I really want a genuine one. Real time service here. By the way, this is my very terrible laptop and I'm charging it. Hope my phone doesn't fall off. I'm using my phone to record this. So please consider a subscribe. That will help a lot. Right. Well, that doesn't not completely go in, which is a bummer. I'm just going to connect these two ante network antenna pins here. One that. I've actually broke one in my Sony Xperia J, and luckily I have the replacement. So, not a big deal if you have a replacement. Well, that was my only one. But I have to be careful next time when the putting these back or in all right where is it oh okay here all right it's firm that battery's junk because look at the corrosion on this if you can see it lower it down oh wait all right set up here you go. That's disgusting. I am not going to use this battery. <laughs> I'm just going to put it there because to put extra weight on it and so I could know how it looks like. And battery corrosions here, which is disgusting looking. NFC pins, which go uh, here and here. Wait, let me focus. Yeah. Here and here, yeah. It connects like this. Back case is a very big NFC uh, device thingy to read cards and that, and contactless payment too. So I'm just gonna click it. Yeah, heard the crunch. Hope so. By the way, I need new adhesive when I complete the actual repair. 
Look at this. All right. This is a Sony XA1 that has a broken battery pin and I need to fix it one day. Yeah. If you're wondering what's the SIM slot thing, SIM slot's a nightmare. It is like this. But with the SD slot here, they need something that's sticking like a paper clip to eject it, which is really annoying. This one supports Nano SD SIM, I think. Well, it's not the, the uh, lowest, not the smallest, actually. It's all right. This this phone, I will repair it later. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't know why it didn't work. Now I know how. So yeah, I need to fix it one day. I uh, hope you like this video. It's been 11 minutes. Very really boring, but it's worth it's it's worth my uh, for my try. It's worth for me to try and video. Yeah. Me like attempted to repair a phone that I've never repaired yet. So see you guys next time. Peace.